Oh Lord, we thank you for this wonderful new week and this opportunity to use the book of Ephesians as inspiration for our prayers. Lord, as we pray through the book of Ephesians, I pray, Lord, that you would give us revelation. Lord, the book of Ephesians has so many faith and hope statements and reminds us of who we are in Christ. It also reminds us of the authority that we have as believers in Christ. So Lord, as we pray through Ephesians this week, And over the next few weeks, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would give us revelation and insight as to who we are as believers of Christ. Ephesians 1 verses 3 to 10 reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace with which he has blessed us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful revelation, Lord, of who we are in you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you remind us, Lord, that you have given us spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Lord, we consider that today, Lord, and we just thank you, Lord, that we can look to you for spiritual blessings in the heavenlies, Lord God. We can look up above our situation and understand that you're a God that wants to pour out spiritual blessings over your children. And even more than that, Lord God, We learn here, Lord, that we are chosen, that we have been chosen before the foundation of the world. Lord, that we would be holy and blameless before you. Lord, it says here that you predestined us to be your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ. Lord, we have been predestined. We have been called even before the foundation of the world. Lord, I pray that that revelation would help us all today to understand that we truly are chosen. We are not a mistake. We're not an accident. We're not here by some random occurrence. But instead, Lord, each of us is here for a specific purpose and we have been called by you. Lord, we thank you for that. And Lord, we pray that that would be etched deep in our hearts, that we are not an accident, Lord. Our lives are not an accident. We are here for a specific purpose, a specific purpose. Lord, I pray for revelation for that purpose and revelation of that purpose for each person, Lord, that is praying today. Lord, would you give us insight? Would you help us to understand why we are here? Lord, what you thought of before we were created. Lord, what you wanted us to carry, what you wanted us to do while we were here. Lord, thank you, Lord, that we've all got a specific purpose and we pray today, Lord, that you would help us to understand that. Lord, verses seven also helps us so much, Lord, because you remind us, Lord, that we have been redeemed. We have been made right, Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Lord, you've forgiven us all our sins according to your riches and your beautiful grace. Lord, we thank you for lavishing that grace upon us, Lord God. Lord, for redeeming us, redeeming us through the bloodshed of your son, Jesus Christ, as he came, lived on this earth, walked as man and as God died and rose again for our sins, for the sins of mankind. Lord, help us to understand that. Help us to understand the gravity of that, to understand that truly, Lord God, we have been redeemed only by what was done on the cross and not by anything else that we can do or have done to try and make ourselves right before you. Lord, the only righteousness we have is through Jesus. Lord, help that revelation to sit deep in our hearts today. Lord, thank you, Lord, that you truly are a mystery. You are a mystery, Lord, but within that mystery, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we have enough understanding. We have enough understanding to 
give you our lives, Lord, to realign ourselves this day with your plans and your purposes. Lord, would you make known to us the mystery of your will, Lord? Would we understand the mystery which you set forth in your Son, Jesus Christ? Lord, it may be a mystery, but Lord, we know you're a God of revelation. So Lord, would you give us a clear picture, a clear understanding of who we are in Christ, who we are in Christ. Would you help us to understand that? Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you truly do have a plan and Christ represents that plan for the fullness of time because in him, all things have been united in heaven and on earth. Lord, we thank you that you are helping us to understand that we need to bring heaven to earth through our prayers, through our connection with you, Lord God. Lord, you're inviting us to bring heaven to earth. And Lord, we pray that even as we spend this time with you, that we would see heavenly things manifested on the earth. Lord, we would call down the spiritual blessings that you've told us about and that you've reminded us that are ours, Lord God. Would we bring them down to earth through prayer, through supplication, through spending time with you. Lord, teach us, show us your way. Make known to us the mystery of who you are, Lord God. Lord, give us that wisdom and insight that we so need to live our lives. And Lord, help us to remember, Lord, that we have been redeemed by the Son, by Jesus Christ, by everything you've done on the cross, Lord. Thank you for your beauty, for your wisdom, for your covering, for your protection, for your purpose, and for the purpose that you've given each of us today. Lord, we thank you, we glorify your holy name, and we thank you, Lord, that today, and as we pray through Ephesians, Lord, we're going to get a greater revelation of who we are in you. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Amen.